Mister! Run, Lloyd! Run for your life! Ah! Hey! You ain't garbage! Yes! Superlative! I was worried, Lloyd! what girls talk about when they're alone together, Kurt. It's an old and ancient mystery. It looks like Brittany's passing out some kind of note. A secret note, full of scandalous girly gossip, no doubt. How appropriate that Brittany would choose the cafeteria to serve up such a hearty dish of feminine intrigue. Gentlemen, I say we investigate. Hiya, Cindy! Hi, Lloyd! Now for some stimulating lunchtime conversation. <laughs> That's funny! Say, I noticed that Brittany was handing out notes to a lot of you girls, and I was just wondering... Sorry, Lloyd, but I can't tell you anything about it. Well, how come? Because it's none of your business! What are you looking at? Not you. <sighs> it's nothing personal, Lloyd, but the note's kind of just a thing between us girls. You know, no boys allowed. Like I say, I'm really sorry. I'm not. Oh, watch it! A valiant effort, Lloyd, but I'm afraid the contents of that note shall forever remain a mystery. Oh, really? Well, I beg to differ. <gasps> Eddie, you had a note all along? How come Brittany gave you one and not me? Brittany didn't exactly give it to me. You stole that note from Cindy? She bumped into me. It fell into my hand. What can I say? Now, come on. Let's have a look. But hey! Eddie, listen. You can't just go looking at Brittany's note. Don't worry. She won't catch us. That's not what I mean. I believe what Lloyd is saying is that it wouldn't be proper. After all, the note is sealed with an adorable private sticker. Oh, no. Now you'll never get it open. Sure I will. <gasps> Look, guys, normally I'd agree with you. I'd never go around looking at another person's note. But this is no sappy chit-chat between two lovesick losers. This is a big-time girl note, and I bet it's full of stuff about us boys. Really? Sure. And besides, all that whispering in front of us is rude. We tried being polite and asking them what was going on, but what did they tell us? Nothing! It's like torture, man. Personally, I don't feel bad about reading this note at all. I must admit, I am freakishly obsessed with her secrets. And I'm getting pretty sick of hearing no boys allowed. That's what I'm saying. It's discrimination. <gasps> How dare they! Play it, Eddie, and let the chips fall where they may. As you wish. Grab a pillow, girl, and get ready to pop some corn, because I'm inviting you to my annual Slumber Fest pajama party! Woo! This year, my sleepover bash is gonna rock more than ever, so be at my pod this Saturday at 5 o'clock, and whatever you do, don't tell any boys! Girls, rule! Woohoo! An all-girl sleepover party! Ground zero deep in the heart of Chickville. I've never been to one of those! Of course you haven't, Kurt! No boys allowed. Oh, the secret plots, the strange activities. One can only imagine what goes on there. Oh, man. What I wouldn't give to be a fly on the wall at that place. A fly on the wall. Perhaps we can be. Gentlemen, meet Buzzy. What is it? Buzzy is my cybervalence fly droid. A little pet project. Observe. Whoa. And check this out. Using my remote control aero navigator, I can direct Buzzy to fly anywhere I want, including Brittany's house. Yes! As a test, let's see what Mother is doing in the kitchen right now. Crushed mechanical friend. So much for our perfect plan. So close, yet so far away. I'm completely sad. Wait a minute. Buzzy's audio and video are back online. Yes. yes. We will not be stopped. I'm not sad anymore. Then it's unanimous. Our plan proceeds. Oh, well, all right, right, let's like get it to it. Now, all that remains is for one of you to sneak into Brittany's house and plant Buzzy. Say what? He can't fly anymore. His wings are crushed. If Buzzy's going to spy on Brittany's party, someone's got to put him there. Well, don't look at me. Me neither. It's your idea, Douglas. You sneak in. Fellas, I'd love to, but I'm needed here to operate the monitor. So, what do you say? Shortest fry goes? Well, it is the chance of a lifetime. Okay, if you guys pick fries, then I will too. Hold my hand. Hooray, it's long! Woohoo! It's long! 
Oh, all right. But how do I get in? Leave that to me, Lloyd. I'll simply tap into Intrepidville's food services database and see if they're delivering to any parties this Saturday. Delivery for the Brittany Boviak party. Ugh. Can't you delivery people ever come ahead of schedule? Sorry, Mrs. Boviak. Whatever. Park the food there and hit the hallway. I've got to go help Mr. Boviak entertain some flapper knees businessmen. Again. Yes, ma'am. Guys, I'm in. Yeah! And it looks like I'm alone. Precisely as planned, Lloyd. Can you hear us through your earpiece? Yeah, Douglas. Loud and clear. Excellent. Now find a spot to plant the bug. Then get out of there, man. Roger that. Where do you think I should put it? Some place that will command a view of this evening's action. Aha! The balcony above the living room! I'm on it. I'm there. Good. There should be a ledge past the railing with a potted plant on it. Put the bug on the front of the pot. Gotcha. I've located the pot. I'm reaching around to the front of the pot. I'm almost there. I'm... I'm... I'm like ready to partake! Mother of Mofton, it's the skirts! Lloyd, bedroom door, directly behind you! <sighs> Guys, what do I do? What do I do? You gotta get out of there! But there's girls everywhere! There's no way I can get past them! I'm trapped! He's not just trapped. He's doomed. Oh, man, what am I going to do now? If those girls catch me at their party, they'll kill me. Maybe there's an airlock or a ventilation shaft you could crawl out through. Quick, Lloyd, fly up the chimney. Unfortunately, the only way out of Brittany's house appears to be the front door. Where are you anyway, Lloyd? I think I'm in Brittany's bedroom. Then there's only one answer. Read her diary! Huh? As long as you're doomed, we might as well get some laughs first. Focus, Eddie. We need to come up with a plan to get Lloyd out of there. Hey, wait a minute. What is it, Lloyd? It looks like there's a door to another room. Oh, it's just Brittany's closet. And according to this schematic, there's certainly no way out from there. Hey, wait a second. What, Eddie? That closet just might be your way out after all. Because, Lloyd, buddy, I got me an idea. I can't believe I'm doing this. Well, how do I look? Um, uh, where have you been all my life? All right, that does it. I'm taking it off. Hey, hey, settle down. You want to get out of there alive, don't you? I'm not so sure anymore. Look, Lloyd, your freedom will be well worth these few moments of indignity. Yeah, buddy, loosen up. Just be yourself. No, don't be yourself. Make like you're one of the girls. You'll be out the front door before anyone notices. <sighs> you sure, Eddie? Trust me, Lloyd. Hey, look! Like, nice hair. Totally cool dress. I have one just like it. But I'm Brittany, and this is my rad party, and who are you anyway? Uh, I'm, uh, girl voice, Lloyd. <clears throat> uh, I'm... Petunia! Petunia! Petunia? He's pretty like a flower. Petunia? Well, I don't remember giving an invitation to any Petunia. I don't even know you. Oh, no. Well, I'm new in school. I must have got the invitation by mistake. My, look at the time. Enough of this dumb talk. I'll just be going now. Whatever. <laughs> Whew, you dodged that meteor, buddy. Wait. Ah! Hi, I'm Cindy. So am I. Oh, hello. I'm Petunia, and I was just leaving. Oh, no, you don't. I couldn't help overhearing that you're new at school. I'm sorry if Brittany gave you the wrong impression. I insist that you stay and have fun. Brittany won't mind. She's stuck up. That's nice of you, but it's okay. See, I... Girls! Girls! Hey! This is Petunia. Hi, Petunia. Uh, hi! <laughs> Petunia's new at school. I thought we should do our best to make her feel welcome. Whatever. Now you'll find out what the girls of Luna Vista are really like. Sounds great, but, uh, I gotta go use the can. Classy. <laughs> oh, boys, boys, did you see that? Uh, Lloyd, you can drop the voice. Oh, yeah. Well, what am I gonna do? They want me to stay. Now I've gotta think of a whole new excuse to get out of here. Whoa, whoa, hang on there, buddy. Who says you've gotta get out of there? 
What are you talking about? Look, Lloyd, you passed the test. They think you're one of them. You can't leave now. What? You heard what Cindy said. Now's your chance to find out what the girls of Luna Vista are really like. I must agree. Having you welcomed into the party is even better than planting a simple bug. You can gain their confidence, question them, perhaps even get them to tell you their deepest secrets. The possibilities are limitless, Lloyd. Do it in the name of science. Do it for all guys throughout the galaxies. Do it for the snacks, Lloyd. For all the times they whispered behind our backs, Lloyd. They won't be whispering tonight. All right, I'll stay. For a while. I just hope I can pull it off. Wait one minute! Oh, hello, girls! Is something the matter? Oh, I'd say something is definitely the matter. Let me see that hand. Uh-oh. See that? <laughs> I see it. Uh, okay, uh, I can explain. Oh, you don't need to explain. Girl, you need a manicure. So, Petunia, are you having fun? Oh, I leave! Thanks to you and Genevieve! I'm having the time of my life! You should hang out with us at school. I could catch you up on all the latest gossip. Gossip? Gossip? Sure. For starters, see that girl over there with the nine legs? That's Rhonda. She's got a thing for Norman Sturf, this eighth grade guy with the hottest beak you have ever seen. Oh, that beak. Only he's got this thing for Brittany. But if Brittany ever found out, she'd just freak because all this time she's been hanging out with Rory Zarnko. Man, what a tail on that Rory Zarnko. Bring it on, ladies. Yeah, only Rory's never been all that into Brittany because he knows that Melinda Hypnoid has secretly been sending him alpha waves oh, during school. Come on and be Rock. That's because he's sensitive. He writes their lyrics! <laughs> Goodness gracious! You girls certainly enjoy your harmless pillow fun! We sure do! Oof! <laughs> Hi there, girl! How come you're standing by yourself over here? I guess you're thinking about some interesting gossip! Maybe some secrets you'd like to share with me? Oh, no, nothing like that. I guess I'm just a little shy. Oh, come on now. Join the fun. Just watch out for the big gal. She packs a wallop. I don't know. I'm starting to think I don't really fit in with these girls. They're all so outgoing and unpopular. Honey, now you just stop that. If anyone doesn't belong at this party, it's me. But look, I'm having the time of my life. I can tell. You trust old Petunia. Come on, don't be shy. You'll end up having the best time ever. Well, okay. Okay, people, Pillow Fight is like so totally over. Now it's time for Truth or Dare. <laughs> Truth or Dare? Gentlemen, we've hit the jackpot. For those of you who've never played, Truth or Dare is a game where each girl must either tell a secret about herself or perform a dare. A dare of my choice. And before we start, let it be like so understood that whatever secrets we reveal will never leave this room. <laughs> totally. Let the game begin. <laughs> What's it going to be, Grace? Truth or dare? Truth. Once in P.E., I accidentally bumped right into Bobby Blobberson, and I thought, like, no way, I'm so going to die. <laughs> Last week, I secretly read one of my mom's Lady Moon Whisper romance novels. Yeah, while I was trying to eat. Blech. Okay, so I still sleep in my footsie pajamas. Only once, I swear. Magnesium. <laughs> yeah! See, uh, truth or dare? Pick dare, Lloyd. Pick truth. Pick scissors, Lloyd, because scissors beats paper. Uh, I think I'll pick... Wait a minute, Petunia. The bottle isn't pointing at you. It's pointing at Violet. Oh, so it is. Well, Violet, like, go. Um, I don't know. I, I really don't feel comfortable. Well, okay, truth. I kind of maybe have a crush on a boy. Like, be specific. What's his name? His name is... It's... Lloyd Nebulon. <laughs> what an unexpected revelation! I'm so happy for you, Lloyd! Get out of there, man! It's getting too hot! You've done your job! Oh my! Yes! Well, time to go! I'm late for a hair appointment! Whew. Man, that was terrible! I mean, it's one thing just listening to regular gossip, but it's another thing sitting there while they say a bunch of lovey-dovey stuff about me! Nebu, dork! You have so got to be kidding! Are you telling me you've actually got it bad for that little green dweeb in the shorts? Like, ew, loser! Hey, 
Come on, guys. Lloyd's actually a very nice boy. Yeah, nice and pathetic. <laughs> nice and really cool, you mean? Now, I may be new in school, but I'm very perceptive about boys. And I noticed that boy right away, girlfriends. He is cute and smart, too. And oh, is he a gentleman. In fact, I happen to think that Lloyd Nebulon is maybe the most wonderful boy in school. Like, you are Lloyd Nebulon. <laughs> uh, this isn't how it looks. It looks pretty bad to me. <laughs> I stand corrected. Guys, our man is down. Girls, girls, there's nothing to get excited about. I'm sure we can work this all out. You snuck into a girls-only party. You were spying on us. I say we flush him into orbit. I can't watch. What are we going to do? Please, please listen. In every civilized society, guys are innocent until proven guilty. Just give me a chance to explain. No, no, wait. wait. Maybe he has a point. I'm like all out of fun party activities for the night anyway. I say we put Nebu Dork on trial. Ooh. And I'll be the judge. Bailiff? Kindly seat the defendant in the bad boy chair. With pleasure. Oh. Fuzzy! Fuzzy, nothing. What about Lloyd? We've got to save him. Come on. Oh. Like, order, order, duh, quiet, please. This is the case of the girls of Luna Vista versus Lloyd P. Nebulon, alias Nebudork. Court is now totally in session. Nebudork, how do you plead? Mr. Lady, ma'am, sir, not guilty. <laughs> I hereby call the prosecution, um, and the defense. Weird. Thank you, Your Honor. What a thrill. Mr. Nebulon. If that is your real name. Please, tell the courtroom why you sneaked into Brittany's slumber party dressed like a girl. I'm sure you had a perfectly good reason. Objection. Leading the loser. Sustained. Like, watch it, Cindy. Tell us why you're here, Lloyd. Well, it all started when I accidentally saw an invitation. It just looked so interesting. Kind of like you girls are. Did I mention that you girls are great? You really are. Even better than boys. In fact, you're so... Objection! The witness is making me want to barf. Objection sustained. The court reminds the witness not to make us want to barf. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um... Mr. Nebulon, are you like at all aware of the total seriousness of your crime? Sneaking and entering, violation of privacy... Just look what you did to poor Violet. You humiliated her. I am so humiliated. Oh, well, of course you are. And so am I. Just look at me. I'm dressed up like a girl. I'd say I've suffered enough already, so let's just call it a night. And so, girls of the jury, the prosecution rests its case. Lloyd Nebulon, having no excuse for his completely lame out behavior, is guilty. And the defense? Yeah, I guess it does look pretty bad. Hey! Okay, drag him up here, Missy. Girls of the jury, have you reached a verdict? Guilty! Oh, man. Sorry, Lloyd. I tried my best. I hereby totally pronounce your sentence. Violet, who we all know is president of the yearbook staff, will go get her camera and take your picture and publish it in this year's Luna Vista yearbook. Ooh. Gladly, Your Honor. But that's cruel and unusual. Everyone will see me. I'll be the laughing stock of the school. Put your wig back on. I'm loaded and ready to shoot. Before we take your picture, ruining your reputation forever, do you have any last words? Well, I don't know what to say. Except, I really wish you wouldn't do this. I know, I know. You're right. It was wrong of me to dress up and sneak in here tonight. There's no excuse for it. You got that right! But you've got to understand. I couldn't help myself. Every day you girls go around whispering and telling each other junk us guys aren't allowed to hear. You're like a big mystery to us. You make us curious. And so, sometimes we do dumb stuff because of it. You've seen me around school. I tell you, it's not easy being a guy. And I guess I found out tonight that it's not always easy being a girl either. The fact is, we guys spend more time at school worrying about what you girls think of us than we do studying. You have this power over us we don't understand. Because of that, maybe sometimes we forget you're just regular people, like us. And for that, I apologize. I don't know what else I can say. For a short time tonight, I was one of you. I came to appreciate you, to respect you. I had plenty of chances to leave, but I didn't. And for that, and for all the grief and crummy feelings that my sneakiness has caused you, I am very, very sorry. Wow, that was actually kind of like touching. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, now you dork, we'll let you go. But only if you swear that you'll never tell anyone what you saw here tonight. Yeah! yeah. Burn it, these girls, please. What sort of heartless creep do you take me for? I promise you, from the bottom of my heart, no one outside this room will ever know about the secrets that have passed between us. Stop right there, you treacherous vixens! Unhand our friend! We've come to save you, Lloyd! Oh! Why, it's you guys! Hey! How did those chowderheads know you needed saving? Because we saw it all on the secret spy camera Lloyd's been wearing all night long! That's why! Spy camera? You mean those dweebs have been watching us too? Uh, can I have a new lawyer this time? Get them, girls! <laughs> In the yearbook. Have a nice walk home. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> oh well, guys. Look on the bright side. What's that? From now on, when girls are whispering at school, now we'll know exactly what they're talking about. Yes, indeed. They'll be talking about what a bunch of idiots we are. Exactly. Does this make me look fat?